I have it tied good and tight. Oh, hmm. Oh, hey. Ha. <laughs> I was just um, helping you practice a little patience. I won't make you wait anymore. Remember, patience is waiting until later for what you want now. All this month, we've been learning how to wait with patience instead of complaining or getting angry. When you're hungry and it's not dinner time yet, you can be patient. When you wanna ask your mom a question, but she's in the middle of a phone call, you can be patient. When something happens to you that just doesn't make any sense, you can be patient and trust that God has a bigger plan. Like it says in our memory verse, Psalm 27, 14, wait for the Lord, be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Again, that's Psalm 27, 14. We can wait for what God has planned. We can stay strong and trust that he knows best. You know, baking is a great way to practice patience since you have to wait for the delicious treats to cook in the oven. Anyone done any baking lately? Do you have any treats to share? I'm patiently waiting for someone to show up with a plate of yummy cookies or brownies for me. I'll tell you what, maybe while I wait for that, we can worship together. I'm so excited for this moment when we get to lift our voices and give God the praise he deserves. I want to share his love every single day. So everybody on your feet and let's worship him together. Everything I want, everything I need, you are. Oh, 
Y'all, when we sing to God, it's a way that we can thank him for all that he's doing in our lives. We can celebrate how amazing he is. We can tell him how grateful we are for his love. Let's sing this song and thank him now. Feeling down, you pick me up. Sing. I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me. Sing. David's words from Psalm 16, 5. Lord, you alone are everything I need. You make my life secure. On our good days and even on the tough ones, we can still pray those words. Lord, you alone are everything I need. Thank you for making my life secure. Let's take some time now to draw closer to Jesus. This next song doesn't have a video. You can just focus on the words and think of all the reasons why you love God so much.
Today, I've got a super cool Bible story for you that shows us how important patience can be. As I'm sure you all know, it can be really hard to be patient. How many of you have heard an adult say, just give me a minute or it's almost ready? I'm not going to lie. When I was a kid riding in the car with my parents, there's something I would always ask. Do you know what it is? Are we there yet? Right. Every day there are times when you have to wait. At school or in virtual learning, you have to wait for the teacher to call on you. Maybe you have to wait for your turn to use the tablet to get your homework done. How about waiting in those lines? At lunch, at the library, at the bus stop, at the store? Lines are everywhere. The hardest one for me though is waiting for holidays, like for Christmas or my birthday. We have lots of chances to use patience, but let me ask you this. Have you ever thought about what we can lose if we're not patient? Well, that's what today's story is about. So let's watch the so-and-so show for the complete story. Ooh, a marshmallow. Sure, eat the mallow miss out on something better. What do you mean? If you wait and don't eat that mallow until I return, then you will receive something even better than a mere measly mallow. Better than a marshmallow? <laughs> Not one bite. <laughs> okay, I don't think he can wait and resist eating that marshmallow, but if he can, I'm going to give him an entire bag of marshmallows. <laughs> All right, here we go. Count to ten. One, two, three. All right, let's go. <laughs> Where's the desk? Did you eat the desk? Um, uh, uh, you ate the desk! I didn't eat the marshmallow! Oh. Everybody, I'm John and I'm Brandon and welcome to the so-and-so show you've been waiting a whole week to see this show Thank you for your patience. Mm -hmm. I know you won't be disappointed <laughs> 
did somebody say manners? Uh, no. I am Melinda Manners and I can always tell when my help is needed. I can sense when someone is being manly. <laughs> and when someone is not. Oh, oh yeah, all oh, right. right. <laughs> Chair. So, my dear boys, what seems to be the problem today? Uh, no, no problem. We're just trying to get the show rolling. So. Patience. My dear boys, patience. It's one of the most important manners. I wrote an entire symphony on patience once. Oh, is that <clears> right? <throat> Let, let's... Nice. Yeah, I feel like mm. I'm learning so much from that. Oh, that's just the tip of the ice cube. Oh, no, that's not the uh, word. That... Uh, uh, uh. If you want to be manly, don't speak out, just sit quietly. Don't correct or presume, just sit tight and listen to me. Now, I meant what I said about sitting tight. Shoulders back, boys. Oh. It is unmannerly to slouch. Mm. <clears throat> Better? So, uh, Melinda, now that you're here, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, so many things. There's nothing unmannerly about having fun, after all. I keep my favorite things with me at all times. Let's see. Oh, yes, yes. Hold this, please. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Oh. A ball for baskets. A screen flat for movies. And this electronic sewing box. Wow, you certainly do know how to have fun. How did you pull all of this out of that bag? I may be delicate in my manners, but I am a strong woman. Manners and strength are like peas and carrots. They go together like deserts and ferrets. How do deserts and ferrets go together? Now, my most favorite fun to have is the kind that you can really learn from. Ooh. Ooh. Let's play a little game I like to call Bake and Wait. Our preparations are complete. Now we simply need to insert the pan into the oven. And in 27 short minutes, we can enjoy some delicious light bulb heated balls of cookie dough. 27 minutes? Hey, this may take a while. You may want to speed through. Let's eat! Actually, now the cookies have to sit in the cooling chamber for five minutes. Oh no, thank you! Mmm! Mmm! Oh. Wow! <laughs> it would be unmannerly for me to say I told you so. So I'll just sing it. Being patient is always right, but you didn't listen, for you're not so bright. It's Baba Thoris and McKellen. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. What's up today, Kellen? Well, today we're looking at something that happened in the very first book of the Bible. That's right. Genesis. 
specifically Genesis chapter 25. This is the story of two twin brothers, Jacob and Esau. It wasn't my fault. Jacob tricked me. Um, what's going on? You can't prove anything, Esau. Yes, I can. Tricky McTrickerface. That's not my name. It should be. Okay, okay, slow down. I think we might need some kind of judge to handle this. You have just stepped into the courtroom of Judge Trudy. The cases are biblical. The people are historical. The courtroom is not real at all. This is Judge Trudy. Just to be clear, this courtroom did not appear in the Bible. Oh, I'll take it from here, Kellen. So, Esau says here in your case file that you were born first. So you got your family's rights and inheritance. Is that correct? That's correct. I was born first. It is my birthright. Mine. Hmm. Well, a birthright is a really big deal. It means you'll get more of your father's wealth and property, and that you'll become leader of the family. Yeah, that's right. But Jacob, you stole the birthright from your older brother, correct? No, I did not steal it. He sold it to me, fair and square. The trickster, at it again. You were the one who made the trade. Order. I need to know the real story. Bailiff, roll the security footage. Jacob. Quick, I'm insanely hungry. Feed me some of that stew. Sure, but first you have to sell me your birthright. Look, I'm dying of hunger. What good are those rights to me now? Promise me. Promise me you'll sell me your rights. Fine, I can't wait any longer. I promise to give you my birthright. Wait, Esau! Did you not even value your birthright? I was hungry. Oh, but you didn't have one bit of patience. You could have waited and eaten something else later. Let me ask you something. Was the stew worth it? It was okay. Mm -hmm. Taste lasts but for a moment. But your birthright would have affected generations. It seems to me, Esau, that your complaint against your brother is your own fault. I cannot rule in your favor. You made your choice. Court is adjourned. This has been Judge Trudy. Even though there's no way that was the real Jacob and Esau, Judge Trudy summed it up well. Esau did not value his rights as the firstborn son. Being impatient made him sell something that was worth more than we can imagine for the price of one little bowl of stew. Bummer. Seriously. You know, being impatient can actually cost you. Totally. When we're not patient, we rush in without thinking about the consequences. Oh, I know. I bent my tongue. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. I think we can avoid a lot of problems if we just pause and think before we act. There's a lot we can miss out on when we're not willing to wait. It's good to hear. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, thanks. You got it. I'll see you guys next time. I think I've ended that today. Put that away, please. Sorry. Reveal the question. What could you miss out on by not waiting? Yeah, like when you eat snacks before dinner and then you're not hungry and it turns out to be your favorite meal. Uh, that's a bummer. Yeah, or you can miss out on spending time with your friends who are running late because you didn't want to wait for them. Or maybe something even more drastic like an ESOS case. Mm -hmm. Talk about it together and we'll see you next time. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. Keep going. Nice. We're really coming into it now. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's time for the big finish. Oh, I 
lift the blowtorch out. <laughs> Sorry. It's so hard to imagine being so hungry that you'd give up something as important as a birthright. But that's exactly what Esau did. He traded his rights of a lifetime for a meal that would fill his stomach for only a few hours. Now, I don't know if Jacob's stew was as delicious as my signature recipe chili, but do you think it was worth a birthright? I don't think so either. But in the moment when Esau was tired, hungry, and impatient, he gave up something that was really important and really valuable. Sometimes when we're impatient, there's a big cost. And that's what we need to remember from today. If you don't wait, it could cost you. You might not lose your birthright like Esau did, but you could lose screen time privileges. You could miss out on doing something fun with your family. You could hurt a friendship by saying something that you might regret. That's why we need to learn to wait until later for the things that we want now. We need to sprinkle in a little patience. Let's pray and ask God to help us do that. Will you pray with me? God, thank you for all the ways that you work in us and through us and all around us, Lord. As we look at times when we have to be patient, would you help us to be super extra patient so that we don't lose out on things that you might have in store for us when we are patient? God, we thank you for the way you love us and the way that you guide us in all things. We love you and thank you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jacob ended up playing a big part as the leader in his family in God's big story. As a matter of fact, Jacob was part of the family line that eventually led to Jesus. Because Esau was impatient, he missed out on all that, even though it was originally his birthright. The next time you have to wait for something you really want, take a second to think. Think about what it could cost you if you're not patient. If you don't wait, it could cost you. It takes a lot of trust to wait for something that you want right now. You have to trust God and believe that his timing is always perfect, even when you can't understand why. If you have trouble waiting and you need some help, you can always talk to God about it. Or you can talk to other people who you know who are following God too, like your family or your church friends. One thing you can do to work on your patient skills is head on over to the website, huntersvilleprez.org slash kids and download this week's activity guide. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.